I want to send my very best wishes to everyone observing the holy month of Ramadan. This is an incredibly special time of year for Muslims at home and abroad. A time for charity, for contemplation and community. First, charity. This is one of the things that Islam is all about. Here in Britain, Muslims are our biggest donors. They give more to charity than any other faith group. We see this spirit of giving all year round, from the mosques running sports clubs for local children, to the Muslim groups selling poppies for Remembrance Day, to those people from around the country who put their wellies on, rolled their sleeves up, and went to help the families hit hardest by this winter's storms. Ramadan is a time when that spirit comes to the fore, and I'm so proud when I hear every year about the millions of pounds raised for good causes for those less fortunate than us here in Britain and those who are suffering in wars and famines overseas. Second, Ramadan is a time for contemplation, to fast and to pray and to think deeply about others. This Ramadan, I hope that we can reflect upon a key aspect of our shared history, the bravery of those who fought and died for our freedoms nearly a hundred years ago. Just days after Eid, we'll be marking a hundred years since the First World War. More than a million men and boys from India fought with our troops during that conflict, and many thousands of them were Muslims. They traveled right across the world to fight to defend our freedom, guided and sustained by their bravery, their comradeship, and above all by their faith. Their selflessness and their courage helped to secure the liberties that we all enjoy today. So this Ramadan and this centenary, we will remember them and reflect upon their sacrifice. Third, Ramadan is a time for community. And there's nothing that exemplifies this more than those nightly iftars, when the fast is broken, the dates are opened, and all that great food is served. Last year, I was delighted to see how many community iftars were taking place right across the country, in mosques and in community centers, in parks and even in tents. Again, this year, government is supporting the big iftar program, with hundreds more communities from Leeds to Luton, Woking to Manchester, throwing open their doors so that people of all faiths and none can break bread and get to know their neighbors. So wherever you are this holy month, let me wish you, once again, Ramadan Mubarak.